<laughs> Hi guys, week two. I probably don't have to shout. I always forget that part. You don't have to, have to shout. Week two. two. Um, okay, so last week we did a bunch of stuff. We got set up on the wiki. We made this chair. It was really cool. I hope, uh, I hope you had a lot of fun, but it was like a lot of steps and a lot of things. This week is going to be a little bit easier. We're going to go to the beach plaster casting. Oh, by the way, I'm Glenn and with me is... Liz, <laughs> Vanessa, and I'm Sam. Okay, <laughs> I'm wearing glasses not because I'm cool, but because I can't maintain eye contact, so I just look like a weirdo if I don't have it on. So I'm just gonna keep. Good it to on know. Now. <laughs> so who's gonna explain how to do plaster casting? Looks like Liz is. Um, okay, so plaster casting is just making a mold of your hand or foot and you just dig a hole in the sand and you stick your What do we need to do, dig a hole? You use a shovel. Shovel, okay, good. Shovel and you dig a hole and you stick your foot or hand into the hole and somebody else comes in and piles on wet sand to hold the shape. So if I can interrupt, because that's basically what I do. <laughs> um, well, if you're at the beach with us, you'll see. But if you're not, I think we have videos, don't we? But you want to go pretty close to the water because if you dig your hole in dry sand, it's just going to keep caving in. So you want to be, you know, not like right at the tide line where your your hole is getting filled in with water, but pretty close. Um, and then you're going to dig your hole. Carry on. Didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> And so once you've packed it in so much that it holds, you know, it's holding its shape, you slowly take out your hand or foot and it takes a while. So just take your time because if you don't take your time, it'll just cave in. So once you've done that, then you just mix plaster and pour it in and wait about an hour. Half. Or half hour. And then you just dig it out and take pictures the whole time. And actually, we'd like you, since we want you to use those sketchbooks, where's that cool sketchbook? Oh, here, Sam, hold up the sketchbook. <laughs> 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 cool sketchbook. Since we want you to use those, go ahead and do a sketch of what you think your hand or, or foot or whatever you want to do might look like. And then, um, so you need a shovel and a bucket and some kind of stir stick. And then you're going to bring... <laughs> You're going to bring this plaster that we got in your kit and you're going to dump this in a nice bucket and it's two to one, two plaster, one water, so you can fill this half or so with water and dump that in. Make sure you've got one or more molds made already um, before you mix this because it sets really, really fast and if you mix it first and start digging a hole, it's going to be a brick before you ever have a mold. So mix and then as Liz said, it takes about 30 minutes um, to set. If you go to Sunset Beach, with us, what's cool is Jack in the Box is right there. So you, you do your thing, and then you go to Jack, get some food, play a little football, and you're good to go. Did we leave any steps out? Is that the whole thing? Um, no, but then a tip. You need a microphone if you're going to talk. I need a microphone. <laughs> Thank you. A tip, don't try to be smart and do a middle finger. I tried doing that, and all you get is basically this with a broken off tip. It doesn't work, so good, don't good, do that. Good to know. Um, nothing fancy, just do a simple cast. But at least try to be creative. I mean, the more creative you are, the better the designs are. So. Um... Yeah, I guess that's it. Um. Sorry, one more thing. Don't do your face. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I had something and I forgot it. Okay, well, she's thinking. So I, I guess that's it. But um, close to the water to dig your mold, and then you put your hand, your foot, whatever in, and your friends put wet sand. I mean, I would go almost literally down to the water and get wet sand and pack it around. Because um, again, if it's if it's super wet, then the mold will collapse. But if it's at all dry, it'll collapse. And really, you're making you're doing plaster casting just the way real uh, you know artists and and craftspeople do it. They use 
finer sand than we're going to use, and they have molds that you can open, like a hinged mold, so you can take the parts out. But so this is our kind of fun beach version of how you would do it, um, you know, for real. And uh, we get to be at the beach, and so we get to use the water and the sand. So we're using the place for half of our stuff, and have a great time. We'll see you Thursday if you're there or whenever you manage to go. We look forward to your, you can take still photos to document or you can just make a video if you want. We like videos. Um, and put stills in a couple of words or a video on your wiki page. Good to go. Fragile. Oh yeah. They're incredibly fragile. You, you can say. So they're really fragile and once they come out of the ground, they might disintegrate on you. So just be really gentle with them. Um, sometimes if you take it to the water, it'll just, you won't bring it back out of the water. Yeah, rinsing them is not a good idea, right? Because yeah. they fall apart when you try to rinse them. They fall apart in the water. So, so just, just embrace the sand coating, don't try yeah. to get it off. So maybe like, not this Saturday, but next Saturday you can really get fancy and paint it somehow. With your spray paint, with your yeah. with your Montana paint. Here should we? Should we? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Here should we? <laughs> here, let's. Uh, You're not gonna spray paint the camera. Are you? Um, <laughs> they will be they will be super fragile forever, but they will be super super fragile for like 24 hours. So some people do amazing things. They're telling you how they break. It's true, but also people get. Uh, feet or hands of like incredible detail sometimes. Yeah. So if you make something cool and it really comes out, like don't bust the fingers off on your drive home. So be careful. Also, if you want to make anything larger, you know, the way people make stuff like buildings that stand up is with rebar, right? Well, you can use rebar too. It doesn't have to be half inch steel from Home Depot. It could be like chopsticks from, you know, your last night's dinner. But chopsticks will hold a piece of plaster, to get plaster together much better. Okay, I think we said it. Do we have to, anything else? Final thoughts? Beach, have fun, bring a frisbee, bring a football. Uh, bring another person, for sure, to take pictures and help you dump sand. Yeah, go in a group, carpool. Carpool, carpool, carpool. But don't get carpool tunnel syndrome. Yeah. Ouch. What? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> carpool sounds like...